Hello, I'm Sasha. I'm over here at the Gigabyte headquarters in Taipei. And guess what we have over here? That's a new Gigabyte booktop. And we're going to take a closer look at it just right now. Gigabyte booktop M1022M. That's the version we have over here right now. A 10.1 inch display system uh, based on the Intel Atom platform. That's the N270 with a, together with a 945 GSE chipset. Comes with one gigabyte of RAM, a hard disk starting at uh, 160 gigabyte. So let's take a quick look around the system itself. Uh, we have over here on the left side a Kensington key lock VGA out and this special connector uh, of the book top that goes into the docking station that I'm going to show you later. And over here we have our jacks for the headset and the microphone, a couple of LED status lights, and on the right side we have a 4-in-1 card reader and this one looks to me like an express card slot. That's very good for people that are still uh, using maybe 3G uh, express cards or other express card extensions. Um, we have one, two, three USB 2.0 connectors, an Ethernet connector and your PSU connector. On the back side is nothing more than the battery and uh, we should take maybe a look at it because this version comes with a pretty high capacity 6 cell battery so that's uh, um, 7800 milliampere at 7.4 volt should be good uh, from my experience on a platform like this for at least some six hours of battery life so that's uh, very decent uh, I think the default shipment at the beginning is with a four cell battery but Gigabyte should change it soon to the six cell one and there's another little surprise uh, after we got rid of this battery over here as you can see there is a 3G card uh, slot or a 3G SIM card slot so you will be able to get your 3G card in there and I'm pretty sure that we also see the book top uh, uh, in, you know, the, at telcos and shops together with a 3G contract so let's get the battery back in there Maybe I should do it the right way, then it will fit. There we go. Um, what I really like is on the bottom, you can easily access all the different components. If you want to change the hard disk, you can just unscrew it over here. It's just one screw, I guess, or two. And uh, underneath here is um, the Wi-Fi card, and also there will be the 3G, uh, the 3G um, module. And over here, you can just change easily your RAM to upgrade it to maybe two gigabytes. And now, finally, let's open it. Da, 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 da. As you can see, glossy display, 10.1 inch, 1024 by 600. But Gigabyte is also coming out on the market with a so-called uh, Gigabyte Booktop M1022P, which comes with a higher resolution display, means uh, 1366 by 768, uh, which would be very interesting to see. In general, um, first impression of it, um, the design looks very decent, very timeless and clean. Um, keyboard is pretty good. Uh, good, good feedback from the single keys. Um, I like the layout, um, the size of the keys. They have a pretty huge uh, uh, right shift key. A lot of people really like that. Um, one, well, I can't say it's a, well, for my personal opinion, it would be a kind of disadvantage. Um, is um, that the trackpad, which is by the way a multi-touch, um, sports the mouse button uh, on the left and right side. But you can get used to it. I'm just not used to it right now. So it would be maybe a matter of some two or three days and then you're fine. So um, yeah, that feels pretty good. Manufacturing quality, build quality is um, very solid. Very solid, that's all I can say right now uh, compared to other netbooks, this is definitely, in terms of build quality, in my opinion, underneath the top five of the netbooks that I had in my hands so far, which were around a cup, I guess about a hundred or something like this. So good job, Gigabyte. That's uh, something that people are really looking for, decent build quality. As I said, um, that's uh, Intel Atom N270. Um, maybe we should just switch it on to see what kind of operating system is pre-installed on this version and how fast it's going to boot up. 
Um, that looks to me like searching for a network boot. Okay, so it comes default with a default installation of um, Windows XP Home, I guess. And uh, I just can't tell you right now if Gigabyte is maybe also planning to have a Windows 7 version by the end of the year, because I'm pretty sure that we will see Windows 7 on the market for Netbook in Q4. Yeah, it boots up pretty fast. Should be around, well, I wasn't looking at the clock right now, but it should be around 40, 45 seconds uh, until we're booting up to the XP desktop. There we go. And there's a couple of software from Gigabyte that is now launching virus things. But I think these are all these little details that we should show you guys are in our complete review that uh, we hopefully gonna do soon if Gigabyte is uh, giving us one of these little babies <laughs> that we can take it with us. So, well, as I said, first impression, um, pretty good idea, a pretty good um, design, pretty good uh, build quality, um, everything looks very decent, but there's something else about the book top, and that's this little fellow over here, which is a docking station. That means um, for people that wanna also use their netbook as a stationary device, as a kind of desktop device, you can just take your book top like this, 